hello everyone so we will continue our model here which we have left off last time and in this video this would be a final part i will add the secondary details with the tertiary details here i will add these forms on the neck and add these cracks and in the end we will further polypaint this character and then just call it a day so to begin with i want to make this neck form so what i'll do is i will select the clay tubes constraint brush and turn the alpha off and just try to make a tapered design here you could do with the uh, either the standard brush you could just hold alt and carve it in like this okay and i will choose back the clay tubes brush and just try to add the clay here we just want to make this taper shape i will add the clay here too and just fill it with our clay brush and uh, we will just sculpt this part and now that we have some kind of a shape here on the neck we can again switch back to the move brush and try to make a curve okay i always look for curves and straight whenever i see a parallel design or a similar pattern i try to change it for example here it is going from thin to thick you have to see that nothing have to be a similar shape okay if it's a stripe go from thick to thin if it's a shape go from either the straight or curve so i'm trying to i will switch to a higher subdivision level and try to add carve with additional trim dynamic brush and just refine the shift more okay now here I will select the paint brush real quick, pick up the color and just select, isolate this part and just use the paint brush to fill that in. Last time we have added, uh, while painting the green color, it must have been added here. And for the teeth, I don't like this white teeth, so I will go to more of white one and just fill it with the gray one. Here you could see that there are bumpy surfaces. I will again choose the clear tube brush and select the body and just gently we can add this bump here. I am smoothing out. Okay, whenever I use the clear tubes, I am always smoothing out. Now you can see the bumps created here and just carve it in like this. After using the clay brush, we have to define the shapes too. Either with the dam standard or standard, I always carve out. Here with this standard brush, I will try to again make a similar taper shape just to define the design more. I will carve it here. And just it's all about polishing the sculpt we have worked so hard in this like from the previous two videos now it just needs a refinement and we will be done for the sharp lines here I have downloaded a set of brushes uh, which is completely free and uh, it's called the orbs brush and uh, it's a quite famous one it is used by almost every stylized artist and uh, it can be found on the gum road just write and search ops brushes on google and it will give you a first link of the gum road download the brush and install it in your zbrush folder and uh, i use there are multiple brushes here i use ops crack 2 and it is a very good brush for making cracks especially stylized but in our model it is like a crack but sort of a scaly 
and uh, I will use those Ops crack brush on our model just gently I will turn off this symmetry on this wall I will hit ctrl D to give a subdivision increase the subdivision level and just try to I will turn on the dynamic again ctrl Z and try to make a pattern of what you want to create remember every shape you make must have a meaning to it you must set an intention to create every shape because when shapes meet and integrate with each other the model will start to look automatically very good so i'm trying to make a pattern of some kind of design to just match it with our already created rock now here i will add another crack okay and just gently i will try to add the crack also here and just gently with your mouse pen brush just tap it okay you don't need to overdo it you don't need to just uh, press your pen a lot harder just gently i will add the crack here this time i will turn on the symmetry and try to add the cracks here i will again turn off the symmetry and just gently try to just make those cracking which makes much uh, difference on your model i will try to use the trim dynamic brush and try to make the hair sharp planes i will use khatri pinch brush which is a pinch brush with lazy mouse radius to 30 and just try to create plane here let's see how it looks okay let's see how it looks well it's not bad let's move on i will hit b and select the op scratch brush 2 and just try to make those crack kicks and less is more is an advice i have received from a disney artist which means the less you put details on a model the more appealing it will look good here you can see different plane changes and in our model here it is not i will just switch to lower subdivision and just try to make every shape with intention okay every shape with intention it is a very important uh, step or you could say fundamental of stylized sculpting because in the realistic sculpting you could get away with uh, details by the so-called details you call it but in the stylized each and every shape must have a meaning to it the why have you created this shape what was the purpose of creating this shape to refine it further i can use stream dynamic on this teeth and it just add the variation of the stylization all we need is a contrast and now it is time to add details the more details you put on it the better it will get but remember in the stylization or the character appeal uh, less is more is an advice i received from a disney artist and this advice helps me a lot along the way whenever i try to avoid uh, getting into complications i try to not over complicate my sculpt and this helps read the shapes and this helps make the character more appealing i will not add much details on this model because it's a simple stylized bust and the less we put details on it the better it will look but the details you put on this model like the primary and secondary shapes must have a readability okay sometimes you just make unintentional shapes and it is a very bad choice for the design so always if you're creating a shape always uh, think about you must have an intention before creating a shape now i can further poly paint it if i open up my reference and uh, i can just use z color and choose this 
part of the brown and just use the paint brush and just fill this part more with the brown i will add slight brown here too okay just the indication that we are having a brown shape i can select this part and even add brighter color the more brighter then the color itself just the hint of brightness okay here i will select this part and try to go more darker and just slightly hint so either it's a block out or the poly paint you go from primary to secondary shapes i cannot stress it enough that the primary shapes the basic shapes are a very important aspect of the sculpt and uh, even in the texturing if you're going for a complicated texturing or poly paint start with the basic colors what are the basic colors of this model it's green brown and off white okay and the secondary colors are the just the values of the colors and because the green the brighter it is a basic green here then i increase the brightness or the values and add a hint of a light here and i decrease the value to hint or to give the hint of the ambient occlusion so that's it i can safely call this cup complete and it's just a matter of time i render it and uh, try to composite it in either blender i use also blender for rendering and uh, either i can just texture it uh, in the substance painter or i can just export to export blender passes to uh, photoshop these three way you can render it in the blender it's very easy you just have to connect the vertex point uh, or using the node system and this poly paint import it along with the model itself so this is it guys i hope you like this series and i hope you have learned something out of it just take anything out of this series and try to sculpt daily try to practice daily even if you are busy with your uh, professional life try to give 30 minutes at least of what you love the most and believe me the more consistent you get in your life it will bring up the better results and it will give you a lot of uh, benefit in your life okay so please share this series with you share this channel share with your friends or fellow artists and please leave a like and comment and share if you like the series or not and what you want me to make in the next series so please take care and don't skip a single day of practicing i hope you learned something from this series and i will see you on the next video please take care and see ya